name Tatters, this is Marcy. So I'm doing this video to, I guess, inform you guys of all the changes that I've made in 2014, uh, the first half of the year that have really made my year better. And they're just small tweaks in my lifestyle. And hopefully maybe you can pick up on some of these small tweaks or try something new, or maybe you can share with me in the description box what exactly you have changed in 2014 to make it just much better for you. So let's start at the top. Let's start with this hair of mine, okay? So I'm doing my hair um, for the whole time I've been natural. Well, really, that's not true. Even from whenever I had a relaxer all the way till I can remember, I've always done my hair on Sundays. In addition to that, I have always cooked for the week on Sundays. As a result, church plus cooking plus hair makes a very, very long day. And, um, you know, since I've been married, I'm like, man, I don't even have a Sunday anymore because I'm cooking and I'm doing hair and I'm cleaning and I don't have time to do anything. Okay, so my small tweak, I now do my hair one day during the week and it has made everything much better I have time on you know Sundays and the weekend to just do what I want to do I'm not in the kitchen all day I'm not doing my hair all day and it is just much much better okay so just simple thing do my hair one day um, during the week and yeah my life is better just simply because of that and then also I do a lot of protective styling so when I twist my hair there's two things I twist them in larger twist I'm not twisting them so small anymore because it's getting longer and yeah I don't have time to be doing Doing hair all night long okay so I twist it bigger and then not only that I don't untwist it right away I keep my hair twisted two days out of the week and um, as the week progresses I'll untwist some and I never untwist the whole thing until like the last two days and yeah it is cuter very very big but I'm a low maintenance type of chick. I don't like to be in hair all day. And that has really helped my lifestyle out a lot in terms of my hair. I've already, I don't know if I share with you guys, I'm also using coconut um, water on my hair. So I bought a huge thing of coconut water from Costco and I absolutely hate the taste of it, but it's very, very healthy. I've already shared with you guys, I'm using it on my chicken. And in addition, I'm using it on my hair because it also is good for hydration. So that's like a little hair tip that I um, have incorporated into my hair as well. And in addition to oils I'm always using avocado oil uh, sunflower seed oil lots of oils so again check out previous hair videos to get updated on my hair so not only am I eating all raw for lunch every single day for dinner I'm flooding my dinner with vegetables in my new thing and I started this in 2013 but I really implemented it in 2014 is I bake all of my vegetables baked vegetables are the absolute best I get my pan I put my aluminum foil I put my frozen vegetables on there more than likely olive oil um, a little bit of salt pepper garlic and I'm done and it's super easy you put them on there on 350 and you enjoy I eat almond butter and I'm gonna try and still experiment with it because I've had um, unfortunately um, some not pretty almond allergic reactions lately that have not been fun and it hasn't been because of almond butter it's been because of almonds in foods that I've been eating as well as cashews I was really shocked I had this really really good uh, vegetarian I thought it was hummus and I think it maybe have been or maybe sweet potatoes but it had cashews in it and I got sick and it was just like really bad so in terms of um, eating I'm very very cautious my body's very sensitive but I um, have incorporated almond butter in 2014 and it's been really good I put it in my uh, fruit and fluffy sweet potato souffle awesome for that uh, in addition to my fruit I have all that on my website on the feel tight tab for recipes for breakfast and I also put it into my oatmeal so that's a good alternative I'm not you know real big on the celery and almond butter I mean yeah it's cool it's very very healthy I suggest it to you but that's just not my thing right now and I've shared with you guys earlier I'm not um, eating um, as many snacks as I used to eat which is huge huge for me because I was on the um, regimen where I was eating you know six meals a day because I thought I had to that has been like the best thing that I could have changed and that's really guys I only eat about three to four meals a day so three main meals and like one snack okay so just because of my schedule where, where I am my activity level um, I just don't eat as much which is good I, I'm never stuffing myself and that's why I did that challenge to not stuff yourself because that is so serious even if you're eating healthy you know you might think oh well I can just stuff myself you know and keep stuff myself that's like a really unhealthy practice so for me simple things such as you know 
eating three big meals, not big meals, but regular meals a day, plus one snack, which is usually in the evening because I eat um, dinner a little early, has helped me out, and then never overeating. That has really helped me as well. In terms of packing my lunch all raw, it has also been better. I did the video on low fiber diet and that really helped me see that the kale and the spinach for my particular body is definitely really too harsh to be eating raw. Now that doesn't apply to everybody. I know some people that can eat it every day, which I did for about a year. And I have seen a decrease in my belly bloat just simply by cutting out, you know, the really, um, I guess, harsh foods to digest because those, um, foods stay kind of in your in your stomach and they're not fully being flushed out and that has helped me so in addition to that I now eat parsley and cilantro as my leafy green vegetables for my lunch so it's still you know leafy greens but it's herbs so incorporating herbs has been huge for me just a burst of cilantro you guys you should definitely just go to your produce section get some cilantro and you'll be surprised at how much flavor it has and definitely check out the health benefits you'll be surprised it's really really cool okay so even this the things that I include in my all raw lunch I've made it so easy when I first started off I was eating you know carrots and celery and I was having to chop all this stuff up and I was like man this is taking Forever. So now I have totally streamlined my um, all raw lunch to just things that I can just put in a bag and go. Meaning, apple already done, you know, it's already whole, wash it off, cut it. Kiwi, um, really, really got that. My husband got me on kiwi. So, kiwi. Uh, zucchini is new for me that yes I do cut up but zucchini I've never even thought about eating it uh, raw until I went to sweet tomatoes with my friend and yeah I think that's like a neat little addition to my all raw lunch I've never tried that before doing all greens I now eat a whole bell pepper every single lunch and it's good so I go to Aldi shout out to Aldi for those because all these bell peppers are always very very fresh it's in a pack of three or you can get the multicolor and I believe it's the cheapest price so just um, Doing the bell pepper for lunch has been great for me. Boiled egg and anything else in addition to that, yeah, I might have to cut up. But other than that, guys, I just dump it in my bag and I'm, and I'm done. I'm not having to stay in the kitchen, cut a whole bunch of stuff up. Um, this week I'm having grapes and that's pretty simple. You might put them in my Ziploc bag for five days. Hey, that's not hard at all. So cleaning out that. And then I've been on a huge strawberry streak because they've been on sale at the farmer's market. Um, on Saturday, I was able to get some for $1. And then my friend told me on Sunday, he was able to get some two for $1. And that's awesome for strawberries. Eating a lot of fruits and vegetables in my diet is huge. I will not stop. I think I will continue eating all raw for lunch. I'll probably just change what I eat. And that's what I've been doing. The all raw for me guys, the green, the challenge was awesome. I was able to really flood it, try new things I've never tried before. And as a result, I eat bell peppers for lunch every single day now. So they're really, really good. I did catch myself eating a lot of sweets um, in 2014, which I really need to stop because I love chocolate and I can eat chocolate like every day. And yes, I can see it here. I can see it on my face if I'm breaking out. So cutting out on just noticing it in my brain, you know, or, or my habits to stop eating sweets is just something in itself. You guys, you got to be aware of what you're eating so that you'll know what's causing you to gain weight, what's causing you to break out, what you need to stop and just and just stop it and see if it makes a difference and that's what I constantly do in my head and I realize man I'm eating way too much um, sweets and sometimes bread as well even though I've incorporated uh, Ezekiel bread and spelt bread into my diet after the May June diet challenge I'm going to try to eliminate it because again for me in order for me to get just like the body I want for me it's just no bread you know just keep it out and I'll be completely fine so that's the suggestion I have while it's the healthiest bread on the market in my opinion I'm going to still be strict with myself and not buy anymore just for a while until I get better you know with you know cleaning out the whole house so changing it to my evenings which is really really neat um, I now use a sense of aromatherapy every night before I go to bed I'm really getting into oils healing oils and I think it's awesome so right now I have lavender and I have lemongrass and I'm gonna continue to buy more as I find them but just putting a dab of oil on my wrist doing my wrist like this together 
I might put a, um, a little bit on my nose before I go to bed. I am like going to bed in a spa like every night. So I always sleep well anyway, but just that aromatherapy before I go to bed is amazing. So very, very neat. I went to a health expo and I found my lavender for only $6 for a bottle about this big, as you can see here and I also um, found some in Marshalls and TJ Maxx and I was shocked I was like oh my gosh they have them so that's you know this little selection that you see here and I am just enthused so I suggest that it's really really fun and neat. Resting more on the weekends has been phenomenal for me I try and sleep two hours on Saturday and Sunday just to catch up from the week to really really refresh myself before a Monday starts and it has been great I mean if you guys just relax Take it easy. So for me, I'm not a huge TV watcher, and if I do, it's usually sports or watching something with my husband. But I love sleep, and just catching up on sleep really makes an impact. And going to bed on time, trying to make no excuses to stay up late, now that scandal's off, it's kind of easier, right? So that's helped me as well, going to bed early. So something else totally random, just the socks that I wear during my workout have made my workouts better. So before I was just getting these little cheap socks and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I bought this pack of 12 from Costco, it's Adidas. They are thick cushion socks and just having that comfort on my feet, especially due to my foot surgery has really made a huge impact in my 2014 workouts. I'm working out hard and my feet are comfortable so that's huge for me. So I've also um, bought some books. I can't wait to get them. I'm going to be reading some new books and hopefully I'll be sharing some of those insights with you. So I encourage everyone to start reading more. It's a summer pretty day like this. Just sit on the couch, zone out and read. So I'm excited about that. And I've also signed up. <clears throat> I'm a big thing of uh, newsletters in terms of events for the weekend. So I have signed up for Yelp and Yelp now. I don't believe they were doing this in 2013. They may have been. But on Wednesday they will send you an email of everything in your city that's going on and so write my email Wednesday morning when I wake up I can easily see what's going on for the weekend so that I can play it and have a good time so that's awesome I'm a big planner and so having things to do on the weekend knowing what it is on Wednesday has really made my you know spring and summer a lot more fun and we always have stuff to do me and my husband are always going out um, enjoying ourselves I encourage you guys to do the same thing and in a nutshell that's pretty much it um, just things that came to my mind for 2014 that have made it better for me. So as the year um, progresses, hopefully I'll do another video and give you more updates of what I've changed. I'm also a lot more active on Instagram now. I'm giving you guys um, me doing the get tight uh, fitness challenges on there. A lot more action, a lot more videos of me trying new exercises and a lot of cooking as well. I really keep the phone um, close to me as I'm cooking so I can share with you guys the new things I try. Like I randomly just made banana scrambled eggs, which is really, really interesting. It's simply your egg, your banana. I put my cinnamon in there and I mix it up and yeah, scrambled eggs right there. And it's really, really good. It's actually very sweet. So um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Try some of these things and let me know in the description box what you have changed in 2014 to make your year better. See ya.